Shay, Technique Cyber, Snow Deep Lunch, Dino Calvin. I see you clearly. I'm telling you the truth. Lady Zamar is in the studio with us tonight. Lady Zamar, we just showed you a little things. You are smiling, but what you should be smiling about even more mm -hmm. is the new single, I Collide. Know, it's amazing. It's How's like... it doing? I mean, it's blowing up. <laughs> the funny thing about Collide is that it was a song I wrote so long ago, about two years back. And I put it together. It was one of the few songs that I produced from scratch together with Drum Pope on the album. Uh. And we put it out there. We had no idea how people were going to take it. And album comes out, and obviously people pick up my baby. And then suddenly people start listening to Collide. And I wake up one day, and it's got a million views, just an audio. A million Next people thing, have watched it on YouTube. Ne? As just a picture. Without a video. Yes. Just this Thomas House of Flow. And now it's like <laughs> over a million five going to 1.6. Wow. Yeah, so, so the I'm video. Excited. The video, because we, we, we're tired of this now, just seeing your picture floating. <laughs> with the video for it's, Collide. It's, it's dropping this week. Um, some people have had the privilege of seeing it. Um, it's a very beautiful video. It's fun. It's it's who I am. Oh. Like a lot of videos, I've portrayed stories. I've never really showcased who I am, and I've always been kind of scared. Like, what if people think I'm kind of crazy because I'm kind of crazy? You know, I'm not always so put together. So I kind of showcase that part of me, like the everyday in that video. And you promised me, because I, I read all the articles last year, you promised me that there's going to be a King Zamar tour in 2018. Yes. yes concerts going around the country yes. i can be a groupie wearing your t-shirt <laughs> you following that is that going to be possible is, is it happening that is happening this year um we've trying to get it um done in august um as opposed to having early, early in the year because there's so many other things that i've got to accomplish and finish up and there's another big concert happening that is like the preview to the actual tour it's a lot so we decided to just kind of push it to august and see what happens there can i talk about your name yes Yamikan Janet Banda. Yamikani Janet Banda. Yamikani yes. Janet Banda. Yes. <laughs> I just recently um, came back from seeing my mother and I'd always wondered why I was given a Chewa name, Chichewa name, as opposed to the rest of my siblings. Chichewa is... It's, it's a Malawian um, yeah, language. Yeah, the language in Malawi. Yeah. Yes. So my mom explained to me because my, my, my dad's mother is Chewa and so she explained to me that no, she almost died giving birth to me. Uh. And it was terrible. It was drips and stuff. And I had no idea. I knew I was late, but I didn't know how many days late. And she told me that that, that was the best way she could describe how she felt when I was born. Because um, to my father, that, that name meant a lot. And it felt right to give me a name that means praise as a command to people, like praise God as a command to people. And you're a combo, right? You're yeah. a South African combination. I'm a, they like to call me an intracontinental child because I've got like four different cultures. I'm, I'm part of four different cultures because my parents are both double cultured. Uh -huh. And they both kind of, they've kind of had to wing it in life. So we've had to even wing it even more in life, you know, because they spoke English to each other. And when we were born, they spoke English to us. You know, and I know there's a lot of controversy in who I, I am and how I was raised and people think it's so wrong for my parents to have raised me that way. And I'm like, nah, What's you know wrong what? with being... Um, I don't I mean, know, you, I don't know. Parents, this. one, you know, they needed English to communicate they because they weren't... They, they, they had a South African understand. mom, Zambian dad. No, 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 my dad is half South African, half Malawian. His dad is from SA and his mom is from Malawi. So where did I get Zambia from? I know, I, some, some article was published and I was wrong. shocked as well. I was like, oh! <gasps> Why would you say that? Hey, now we know. <laughs> the other thing that I need to ask you about, ne, that yeah. song, Charlotte. Yeah. Have you ever been a Charlotte? You. Have you ever gone after somebody's man? You know, uh, has anyone ever needed to speak to you? Funny enough, yeah. Ah. Now, that I, now that you say it that way, has anyone ever needed to speak to me? But in my defense, I did not know. I had no idea. So I was did they speak to you? Um, they tried, and then I, they invited me for like a lunch and something. And I was like, "You tried so to kill woman me." called you and said, "Hey, listen." Uh, yeah, she actually called Charlotte. me. <laughs> but this was way after I'd found out, and I was like, "You know what? I'm not about that life. I'm not a homewrecker. So, uh, peace out, nigga." You know, and that was Done. what happened. Yeah. Let's get to this last part because you are doing music now, and the music's killing it. Yeah. But you wanted to go to Korea. 
Yes. You wanted to go to Korea instead of the music. Why? Well, I'd always had this dream of becoming a lecturer, and I, I really hope I still do become a lecturer teaching. one day. Teaching um, or, you know, theory of literature. Uh -huh. That's what I am passionate about, and that's what I study and I'm studying, and I'm going to still study until I get to that level. Um, but I wanted to do that, and it was for my gap year from SA. Like, I wanted to leave SA, go to Korea, study, um, get my honors in feminist literature, and then come back while I would have taught in Korea for that year. Are you sorry? Uh, no. Now I'm not, but for a long time I was. Like, for a very long time I was sorry. This <laughs> is the Sport of Ten Cup. You can't have it, it's priceless, but the cupcakes you can, if okay. you get the questions right. You were born in Tembisa. Yes. So we've gone for people who come from Ekuruleni. Okay. Yeah? So you got to know, these are your, your peeps, they come from your spot. Can you recognize this face? Who is this man from Ekuruleni? That's Ernie Alf. Oh, the Big <laughs> Easy, the US Open golf champion, the <laughs> Open champion. You got that one. Yeah. All right, good. Moving on, can you recognize this man born in Kempton Park? One of the fastest men in the world right now. I, I just know his surname is Sambiri. 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 Mm. Uh, yeah, let's Kani just Sambini. Yeah. <laughs> close enough. Yeah, you know, yeah, close, just following. It's, close. you know, hard. Did you do sports? Stuff. Yeah, I did a lot of sports, actually. What were you good at? Um, shot put, netball, played soccer when I was in primary school. Hola, shot put. <laughs> 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 Spell it brings us very nicely because can you tell me who this is from Guatemala? Uh, Zandilem Sapo. Yeah, yes. the Paralympic athlete went to the London Olympics, did the shot put as yeah. well as the javelin. She was at the Rio Olympics. I'm going to give you two and a half out of three because you didn't get Simbini's yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hello, hello. Ladies, Amar, who's Amilem? Yeah, no, 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 no. She says, what's Amar? Mamelot. What's Amar? What's Amar? What's Amar? What's Amar? What's Amar? She has a name, she has a song called, called uh, so Love is Blind. Uh? Yeah. If, if today we were <laughs> going to sing it about the game that we've just seen, mm. in this game, mm. like, Paris mm. goalkeeper is love. Mm. <laughs> and then it's like, yeah. Mm. Paris goalkeeper is blah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Paris goalkeeper is black. Where's the Paris budget? Mm. Uh, do I have to say Paris goalkeeper? Yes. No, you can say Jackson. Jackson's black. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Who's Jackson? <laughs> it's the Paris goalkeeper. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah. Uh, today, I don't mean Paris any you know, hard. You know, today is the last day <laughs> of, of the transfer window. It's over. We might say We're going to leave team. you with the words we leave you with every week. <laughs> Ladies of my, thank you. If you're not watching Sport at 10, what, what are you doing? doing?